I don't think the human race will survive the next thousand years unless we spread into space. What do you believe happens to a star when it shines for the last time in the universe's darkness as it burns to death? Does it simply become dim before disappearing forever? Or does it begin to contract inward? The fact is that stars die with a massive explosion so cataclysmic that it is beyond human imagining. This explosion that happens within 100 seconds is so powerful that the star emits more energy during these final seconds than it has ever emitted during its entire lifetime. The explosion is so massive, so enormous, so supreme and intense that scientists named it supernova. Supernova are no laughing matter. That's why no one jokes about them. These are some of the most powerful explosions that occur in the otherwise peaceful universe. One supernova happens close to us, and we are completely knocked out from the face of the universe. However, it appears that the end of the world is not so far away. According to scientists, a star in your night sky will eventually explode at some point. The only issue is that no one can say with certainty when and where. The tragedy may strike either in the next 10,000 or a million years, or it may be right around the corner, ready to hit tomorrow. So where in the sky is this star located? Can it wipe out humans similarly to how the dinosaurs died out? And most importantly, do we have the technology to prevent the apocalypse? Let's find out. What is the loudest sound you've ever heard? If you ask the people living near an airport, their answer would be the taking off of a jumbo jet. or maybe the launch of a rocket. People living near or working at blast sites will vouch for how loud the sound can terrify humans and pets, especially when the sound is unexpected. Decibels are units used to measure how loud a sound is. A plane taking off makes a noise of around 150 decibels, whereas a nuclear explosion makes a noise of around 280 decibels. But make no mistake, since the loudness scale is logarithmic, a 20 decibel rise results in a 100-fold increase in power. But these sounds are not even close to the loudest sound that mankind has ever experienced. A volcano by the name of Mount Krakatoa erupted in the spring of 1883 with a powerful 200 megatons of energy. The blast had a sound pressure level of roughly 310 decibels. It seems like the death angel is calling when you hear sounds that are louder than 300 decibels. If you were to be struck by this fatal sound wave, the impact of the shock wave impacting and traveling through your body would cause your ears to instantly burst. The shock wave would knock the air out of your lungs, and it is quite likely that you may die. However, many more massive explosions occur in the cosmos every second, blasts so powerful that they can outweigh the shine of the moon and the sun on Earth. These are supernovas, the real bosses of nature. They happen when a star, big enough, exhausts its hydrogen fuel and begins to collapse in on itself. The result is an explosion known as a supernova. Numerous stellar explosions have taken place in the past. A star in the constellation Lupus abruptly erupted in the year 1006 AD. The explosion was so bright that it could be seen from here on Earth. The explosion dominated the night sky like nothing else, be it day or night. The most recent supernova, known as 1987A, occurred in the year 1987. But are we going to see another one in the next 50 years? Betelgeuse, a star in the Orion constellation, famously known as the Hunter constellation, is one such dying star that is capable of going supernova in the near future. Betelgeuse is the largest star which is present on the hunter's shoulder. 
it appears as a bright red dot when viewed from Earth. Betelgeuse is nearly 950 times bigger than our Sun in diameter and is situated around 700 light years from Earth. It is estimated that the star will certainly erupt one day. It may happen in a million years, tomorrow, or right now. According to recent studies, the star is dimming in brightness, which indicates that it may explode as soon as this decade. But later, a group of scientists showed up and argued that the dimming was caused due to the presence of a gas cloud between the telescope and the Sun. What do you think? Which hypothesis do you accept? However, everyone in the scientific community agrees that for a few weeks after the star explodes, it will appear as though Earth had two suns. Despite being hundreds of light years away, its light will shine brighter than the full moon and brighter than anything you can see during the night. According to astronomers, for a star to have a significant impact on Earth, it would have to explode at a distance of about 50 light years. If a star goes supernova in the next 30 to 50 years, the explosion's X-rays and more intense waves, such as gamma rays, will obliterate the ozone layer, which protects humans from the sun's UV radiation. This high radiation dose will kill the majority of creatures, and it's probable that only marine life may survive. At first, seeing a supernova would seem frightening, but it appears that there is no need for concern, as Betelgeuse is so far away from the Earth that its impacts would be minimal. The only problem would be for those animals who rely on sunshine to drive their senses. I hope and pray that the star explodes during our lives so that it serves as our generation's most memorable fireworks display. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Consider subscribing to the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.